we leverage the gamma rhythm um, or um, a gamma brain waves that um, all mammalian brains can produce. Um, so gamma rhythm um, ranges between 30 to 80 hertz, um, and it is speculated to um, facilitate uh, information processing, synchrony uh, within and across different brain regions, and um, implicated in high order brain functions such as um, navigation, attention, um, and sensory processing. So in many Alzheimer's disease mouse models, uh, gamma rhythms are compromised, even in very early stage of the disease. Um, so my laboratory initially decided to, um, to restore gamma rhythms in the brain using um, invasive approach such as optogenetics. But eventually we figure out a way to non-invasively introduce gamma rhythms, which is to use external light and sound stimulation, uh, basically using a flickering LED light um, and sound clicks uh, to expose the mice to. And when we apply this to Alzheimer's models, we found very um, surprising beneficial effects, um, including profound reduction of Alzheimer's pathology, such as amyloid plaques and uh, neurofibrillary tau uh, pathology. The approach is very protective um, against loss of neurons and synapses, and also appear to um, improve cognitive uh, behavior. So this happens in multiple um, uh, mouse models. So we were very um, intrigued by <laughs> such a beneficial effects and with such a non-invasive and safe um, manipulation. So, um, so we started to uh, test this technology in human subjects. And uh, we found that this approach is um, also very safe uh, to use. Um, to humans, we found that um, the sensory light and sound stimulation can induce um, uh, increased power of uh, gamma rhythms in the human subjects. So we started uh, a small scale uh, phase 2A trial in uh, early stage Alzheimer's um, uh, subjects. And so far, um, we were able to uh, evaluate these people after three months of treatment, and we saw some beneficial effects. We currently um, uh, would like to conduct a larger scale uh, human study and uh, also looking at the approach in perhaps preventing uh, or uh, delay the onset of the disease.